So between rent and bills and, you know, having a life, saving money can seem pretty impossible. But if you're dedicated to making a budget and growing your savings, it can be done. So here are 14 money-saving hacks you need to know right here on Listed. First up, make a budget and stick to it. Now this might seem like the simplest, most basic thing in all of money saving, and that's because, well, it is. Whether you budget in an Excel doc on a piece of paper or with the help of an app like Mint, take a moment to take stock of what it is your income is, what your expenses are, and what your saving goals are as well. If there's not enough left over for savings after expenses, it's time to trim some fat from your budget. Write your goals down, not just the number of the goal, like $2,000, but what the goal is going towards, like a new MacBook or a vacation in Europe. Put this goal somewhere you'll see it every day or every time you think about spending a little extra. Tape it to your mirror for a morning reminder. Tape it to the back of your credit card so you have to see it when you want to splurge on something unnecessary. Keep your eye on the prize and saving will be much easier. Use the coffee trick. You've heard of this one, right? Cut your daily cup of overpriced Starbucks coffee and you'll save hundreds over the course of the year. If you don't drink coffee, or if coffee is a splurge you can't bear to part with, look at your regular spending habits and find something to cut out. Maybe it's your Friday lunch with your coworkers. Maybe it's a weekly manicure that you could do at home. Whatever it is, identify it, cut it out, and watch the savings add up. And if coffee is your must-have splurge, check with your local coffee shop about the price of refills or discounts offered to customers who BYOC. Bring your own cup if you didn't know. The reusable mug could be good for the environment and also your bank account. Haggle for your bills. You might not think that bills are something you can negotiate on, but they actually totally are. Call your cable provider and internet one first. Tell them that your bill is too high and you're thinking about leaving for a competitor. Trust us on this one, it actually works. Speaking of ways to work the system when it comes to your internet bill, if you know your neighbors are close enough, both in proximity and friendship, consider sharing internet with them. On one bill, a very strong router on a shared wall, that's key, you could also be splitting the cost of internet with twice as many people overnight. Or just don't tell them and steal it. Either way. No one sells end and markdowns happen at your favorite stores. One very savvy and helpful Pinterest user posted this handy guide to getting the most out of deals at Target. But the same basic logic can be applied to anywhere you shop on a regular basis. You can also save by buying gift cards online for cheaper than their valued price. Sites like Gift Card Granny and Rise.com give you the chance to buy gift cards for less than what they're actually worth, which means it's literally free money. Clip coupons. Now this might sound totally old school, but check the mail for coupons for necessities like groceries and actually save them instead of trashing them. Take advantage of free trials. You can save a ton by taking advantage of free trials, especially for gyms and fitness classes. Go online and find all the gym classes and anything else physical fitness oriented that you want to try and make a list. Rotate through all of them, taking advantage of the free trials they offer until you hit the bottom of your list. It could save you weeks or months of free memberships. Just remember to cancel them before they end. On that note, take advantage of free stuff to do. Ever seen a flyer for a free movie screening in the park? Or a post on Facebook about a free hiking club that's looking for new members and thought, maybe I should check that out? Only to opt out for another dinner with your friends and online shopping when the day of said free event rolls around? 
Yeah, always, that's me. Next time, make the effort to try to hit that free thing up or don't bring a friend and instead try to make a friend. It could always be great in more ways than one. Say yes to leftovers, also known as a lost treasure. Leftovers are a great way to save money, so if you can get two meals for the price of one by taking a doggy bag home from dinner, well, I say you say yes. So does your budget. As an added bonus, you will be thanking yourself about taking these home after that wild night out. Next up, have a clothing swap with some of your friends. If your wardrobe needs some sprucing up, find some similarly stylish and budget-conscious friends and organize a clothing swap. It's like shopping, but without spending money. But if that doesn't tickle your fancy, always price match. Most stores will match any advertised competitor price. So come armed with that info before you shop to get the best deal everywhere you go, especially on big purchases like electronics. So we've concluded our list of 14 money-saving hacks that you need to know. Did you know any of these tips? Are you gonna use any of these tips? And do you know any other hacks that have helped any of your friends. Let us know all of that in the comment section below. After that, you can click right over here to check out some Twitter dirty secrets that you didn't really know. That's gonna be great. I'm Riley Adams. thanks for hanging here on Listed. I will see you next time.